The first alarm is very easy to take out. No, it's a long range shot, but you can put subsonic rounds on your rifle. And if you zoom in with your binoculars, you can actually hit this shot very easily. If you're on anything besides authentic, shot's a joke. And if you're on authentic, it's right about there. Kosha. As you can see, nobody is alerted. They have absolutely no clue the alarm and sniper are dead. The second alarm is very easily taken out from this sniper tower right here. What you wanna do is use your binoculars to make sure that you're actually lined up. A couple of the angles don't really wanna hit and then use uh, subsonic if you don't want to alert the base. Now this is a excellent spot. Yeah, that's smoking. Sometimes it doesn't say alarm disabled on authentic. You just have to know that it's disabled. It's weird. Uh, anyway, just FYI, this is an excellent spot to snipe out this entire base, but there is a tank rolling around, so you have to time your shots and if the tank comes by, then not shoot, or get, or wait till it passes and shoot it in the back. If you shoot it in the back, then it won't turn around and it'll keep going and you can just take out the tank that way. Or run back right now, grab the Panzer, and then when it comes up, hit it in the back when it uh, comes up. And then you can easily take it out. Anyway, that is how you take out the second alarm. The third and final alarm is in the sniper section. The alarm is located right here and you want to take the shot from right here. So as you can see, you're looking right past the speakers, 126 yards or meters out, I forget which. And if you don't want to alert the town, use a subsonic round. Uh, 129, when on point. And that is all alarms for liberation. I hope that helps.